Hi friends, I did pick up this foundation. Of course it is what I'm wearing today. I'm going to be applying this, giving you all of my thoughts on it. I have worn this one other time and so I'll be giving you a few extra thoughts on it. I tell you at the end of the video that I probably won't be doing a check-in wear test because of my disability, but I will make sure that you're totally informed about it because I will put a paragraph of all of my thoughts about how it wore, the length of time that it wore, whether it broke apart, whether it oxidized, settled into pores, everything about it. You can see what it looks like right now. So far, so good. I'm really liking it, but I'm not all, only trying this. I am also trying a couple of other things. The new NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum. I'm giving that a try today. And ELF's, um, this is the Power Grip primer. I'm trying that today as well. And I'm also trying the new NYX plump finish with electrolyte setting spray. So I'm trying a few new things today and I'm kind of excited to share those with you. And then later on, I'll be giving you my th final thoughts on everything so that you can know that too. And I'll be making sure that I put it into a comment, the first pinned comment here on the video as well. So I hope you do enjoy the video. Next, you're gonna see me, my eyes are done, but everything else is barefaced and we're going to get into it right now. Okay, so I'm gonna use two different primers, um, one on one side and then the other. One is more blurring, which is the Revlon Prime Plus Perfecting and Smoothing. And I'm just gonna use one pump for each side of this. And then the other one that I'm using is the new one from e.l.f. This is the Power Grip primer. I've used this a couple of times with a couple of different foundations. I don't know if I'm super impressed with this one. It does feel gripping when you very first put it on, but it kind of dissipates quite quickly. So I don't know if it's really like going to grip the foundation all that much like maybe the Milk Makeup one does. And then I'm going to do this step that I always do, which is take the MAC Prep and Prime Skin Refine Zone Treatment. And I'm going to take just a dot of that, just a little tiny dot, and dot it into where I get my big pores and really press that in. This is a trick that Mel Thompson showed and I love this stuff. It works so well for my mature skin that shows so much texture. Moving on to color corrector. I'm not gonna color correct anything on my face, but I am going to do my under eyes because I usually always do that first. And so what I'm using is this Charlotte Tilbury. This is the one in medium. And I'm using it because I wanna use it up. I'm trying really hard to go through some of my makeup and use as much of the of the different things I have up. All right, if you have been with me for any time at all, you know that a while ago I adopted uh, Wayne Goss technique of putting powder on before I put on my foundation it works so well. So I want to test this foundation with that technique because it one makes my um, skin look a lot more blurred. So the poor the pores are blurred. And the other thing is it also really helps to hold my foundation on throughout the day. So we're going to do that. Just using a big fluffy brush from e.l.f. and also the e.l.f. Halo um, Glow Setting Powder. And this one is in the pink one. I just lightly dust all the areas across my face. Another thing is if you're an oily person, you're gonna love this technique because it works so well. I know we're not necessarily talking about technique, but this one is great. I have very dry skin and it works so good for me. And for me, it works really good with almost every foundation I've ever tried it with because even though you saw me dusting across a lot like I am, you don't use a lot of powder. You just kind of continue to bounce it or pounce it or you know fluff it into your face a little bit all right so now we have the magic which is the actual foundation this is the tarte shape tape cloud coverage with a broad spectrum spf i think it says 15. if it says something different it'll go up on the screen um anyway this i have tried one other time haven't tried it since then so i'm going to put two pumps on the back of my hand and then i'm going to dot it around my face i will probably have to use another pump just for my neck and my chest. And a lot of people ask me, why do I go down my neck and my chest? Look at the discoloration I have. I have really bad discoloration. And so I do it because I 
feel very self-conscious about that area. And so I go down all the way. Now this, as I'm looking at it, and as my very first impression of, of using it in front of the camera with you guys, is it feels a little bit orange. It looks a little bit orange, but we shall see how that goes. This is going on very nice, very pretty. I can tell by just bouncing it around or just by blending it in that it is a almost a light medium coverage. So if you like something like that, then definitely this is a good one for you. It might look like it's covering a little bit more on camera, but I can guarantee you or I can assure you that it's not. Okay, turned my lights down just a little bit in hopes that you guys can see it a little bit more true. And I apologize if I'm looking over here, that is where my tiny little viewfinder is. And so I have a tendency to try and watch my lighting in that viewfinder over there. So I just picked up another pump and now I'm gonna go down here across my neck and my decollete. It's so red and it just, it looks really bad. So we have one coat of the foundation on and it is covering like I said, it's covering in a medium fashion. I don't know, I don't feel like it's covering as much as I like to have and also, you know, using two pumps of it. So I'm gonna do another coat of it. Only thing, I'm only gonna take one pump this time. I don't wanna get too much on there. And then I'm gonna concentrate in the areas where I feel like it's really not giving me good coverage. Now I felt like down here on my neck and my decollete because I only always put one coat just to even things out down there. So I feel like it really did a pretty good job down there. But it's up here where I have my scarring, my dark age spots, that kind of stuff that I'm feeling like it's not doing that great of a job. Blending this in on this side, I feel like that's a lot better. The texture, is a medium texture it is not thin and it's not watery but it's not super thick it feels lotion like um not as far as lotion hydrating just lotion texture and as i am bouncing it in it also feels quite hydrating. I also picked up the NYX uh, Bear With Me Concealer Serum. I recently heard about this and really wanted to try it. So I heard that you also need only a tiny, tiny bit. So I'm just gonna use a tiny bit. And I am going to do the trick that I do where I just dot this around, let it sit, and then go back in and blend a little bit. I also take the lightest foundation shade that comes from Catrice, and I am going to put that on my inner corner in one dot, just to give a lot of light. I have been doing this a lot lately, and this is superb in the amount of light that it brings to this area. So I'm going to let that sit there for just a few minutes, while I go in and I do some contour. This is kind of a combination of bronzer and contour. This is Soft Revenge from Nabla, and it is their contouring shade or their bronzing shades, and I like them so much. So this is gonna bring a lot of life to my face while it still does a great job of contouring. I'm using Catrice's Sungasm. Uh, I heard about this one from Emily Noel. She had it in her favorites of the year. And I'm gonna put this on underneath my blush like I always do, staying away from that area. Boy, I look very greasy through here with this light on, really greasy. So I'm probably gonna have to set that down, but. I want my under eyes to get blended just a little bit more before I do that. And then I pulled out an old favorite blush I forgot I had. This is from Clinique, it's one of their Cheek Pops, and this is Heather Pop. This is one of my favorite blushes. I love the Cheek Pops. I have several of them and I completely spaced off that I have them. They get pushed to the back of the drawer or something, you know? Okay, now I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna make sure there is nothing here that is going to crease on me. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that blush brush and I'm gonna go just up here a little bit to blend everything so I don't look like I have just raccoon eyes. I wanna have a little bit of color up there. And then I'm gonna take my number seven delicious Lift and Luminate powder. I love this stuff. And I'm going to take the sponge that I have been using and I'm going to very lightly dot underneath my eyes. Okay, I am just going through 
into the areas that I know are going to break apart a little bit. And I do want to take this shine down just a little bit. I'm going to take my makeup sponge and lighten up this little bit of contour I did right here. Got a little heavy handed right there. All right, back to that handy dandy sponge. This is from NYX. This is new. This is the plump finish with uh, electrolytes in it. So I don't know what the electrolytes are supposed to do other than maybe plump up your skin. I don't know. I'm going to spray that on the sponge because I don't like the sprayer that comes out of here. And then I'm going to go over these areas. I usually do my Charlotte Tilbury flawless filter, but I'm trying a few extra new things today. I'm going to put a little bit of mascara on my bottom lashes. I always use this one from Benefit. This is the Benefit The Real. I love the little spikes on the end of this. It just catches my bottom lashes so well. Okay, we're gonna do some liner. This is Cool BFF from ColourPop. I can't talk and do this at the same time. This liner will give me the perfect nude liner. I really like it. And then there is a new lipstick from Sephora, the Sephora collection. And let me see if I can figure out what it is called. It's called S Clean. So I'm assuming that it is Clean Beauty. And then this one is in Dandelion. And it is kind of just a very nude pink. All right, that is too nude for me. <laughs> Much too nude for me. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna grab another lipstick. Okay, so what I decided to grab was from Persona. This is actually their liquid lips. You guys know I normally don't ever wear liquid lips, but I've been doing a little bit of it lately because it holds so well and I have it throughout the day. Okay, I feel like that brightened the whole look up a whole lot. Okay, so I put my earrings in. I fluffed my hair a little bit. So this is the final look. Let me tell you what I feel about this foundation. Right now, even after I powdered and I put a little bit of that setting spray, it still feels dewy. Now, I keep in mind that I have a ton, and when I say a ton, yes, I have a ton of moisturizer on. I do double moisturizer and I do double SPF, so kind of has a little bit of time that it has to settle down and I didn't do too much time in between the two. I do feel like I probably, even though I'm very dry, would go in with a little bit more powder just to set certain parts of it down. However, I'm very dry. So throughout the day, this is gonna settle and my dry skin will begin to soak up everything that I've put on it because I have very, very dry skin. It's beautiful on. It actually did end up covering really well. It looks great on my skin. It doesn't show up any texture. I don't feel like it really is oxidizing or turning orange at all. I have a lot of bronzer on, but I don't feel like the actual foundation is changing colors. I don't feel like there's any texture. I don't feel like there's any settling yet at all. So I feel like that's all really good about it. I'm a little bit worried with it being so dewy. That's the only thing. So I think if you like a satin or a matte, you're probably not going to like this very much. So it's very, very dewy. You probably do need two coats to really cover. But if you like a very light found, light coverage, you might like this one, light to medium, I should say. The other thing is, as some of you may know, I do have a disability and I am not able to do a check-in in any time. So what I will do is I will leave a whole paragraph down below on my final thoughts about the foundation and how it wore throughout the day, how much time I got through it, whether or not it did break apart, whether or not it did settle into fine lines, change colors, any of that stuff that I find, I will make sure that I leave all of that down below in the description box, along with all of the makeup that I did wear today, including my eye makeup. And I would love to hear from any of you that have already tried this and what you think of it. And let me know that also. Thank you guys all so much for being here with me today. I really appreciate you sticking around till the end. And I hope that I get to see you very soon in my next video. Love you much. Bye friends.